Wow, Rebecca, we've really learned so much about how biotic and abiotic factors interact in an ecosystem. And we've been doing a lot of hiking. My stomach's actually growling and I'm pretty much ready for lunch. What about you? I am too. Let's find a spot in nature. Well, I brought some extra snacks today, so I can share with you, but too bad you're not a plant and can't make your own food. What do you mean? Well, we're consumers, which means we have to consume other biotic factors in the environment, like other plants and animals, in order to eat. But plants, plants are producers. They produce their own food through a process called photosynthesis. Photo what? Photosynthesis. I know, it's a really big word, but we can like break it down into some smaller parts to understand it better. Because actually, photo means light and synthesis means to put together. So plants put together sunlight for food? Exactly! And there's a little bit more to it, but why don't we share some lunch and keep hiking and I'll explain a little bit more later. Sounds good! talked about how biotic and abiotic factors rely on each other in nature. Do you remember any of those connections we made between the two? Definitely. We talked about how some of the animals around here might use the sticks and rocks as a habitat. Right, exactly. And just like animals need abiotic factors to make homes, plants also need abiotic factors to make their own food. There are actually three ingredients or abiotic factors they need. Can you think of any one that they might be? Hmm, I think one might be the sun. You said that the photo in photosynthesis means light, and plants get light from the sun, so the sun must be one of the ingredients. It is! Plants need sunlight to make food for photosynthesis. Should we keep hiking and see if we can come up with any more factors? Yeah! Ashley, I think I might know one of the other ingredients. Did you come up with it? I think so. So, I just saw the river, and I water my plants at home, so the plants must need water for photosynthesis. Exactly. So, so far we know that plants need sunlight and plants need water, but there's one more abiotic factor that they need to make their own food. Can you think of it? I really don't know. I have an idea. Let's go exploring and looking around this place and see if we can come up with any clues. Okay, great. Rebecca, plants do need soil. They absorb a lot of nutrients through the soil, like nitrogen, but it's not something that they need for photosynthesis. I'll give you a hint. The last ingredient is in the air. Well, I know that we breathe oxygen and plants release that. So is it oxygen? Well, we actually do breathe in oxygen, and oxygen is produced as a byproduct of photosynthesis, so that's another way that we're really connected to photosynthesis. But while we breathe in the oxygen that plants produce, uh, we breathe out the carbon dioxide that they need as the last ingredient for photosynthesis. So for photosynthesis, plants use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to make their own food, and they also release oxygen that we breathe. But Ashley, what food do they make? Well, they make sugar. Plants make their own sugar so that they can do things like grow and produce fruit. And we eat those plants and those fruit from the plants for our own sugar. Wow, that's so cool. But how do we get other things we eat, like protein and meat? Well, we do eat meat. We are omnivores. But even that meat we ate, like a cow, got their food and their sugar from the grass. And the grass got it from sunlight. So we're all connected and it all goes back to photosynthesis. And here I thought all the sun gave me was a sunburn. 